Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and thank you for watching. In this video we will be taking a look at how to get a working mouse toggle for your Fire TV Stick 4K Max. Let's go and take a look. You can use the clickable sections below to skip ahead to any specific part in this video. If you're looking for a new VPN service, why don't you check out the links in the description below this video. Clicking on these links can not only give you a great discount off of your next VPN subscription, but clicking through these links also helps to support my channel. In this video, I'm using the Virus Total app as an example, as it requires the use of a mouse to fully navigate all areas of the screen. A virtual mouse toggle is a great way of adding the functionality of a mouse to your Fire Stick that you can use and control with your Fire Stick remote. To install a virtual mouse toggle onto your Fire Stick 4K Max, you can use the Downloader app to download it from my website. If you already have the Downloader app installed, skip ahead to this part of the video. If you haven't, then stick with me. From the home screen, choose the Find option, then click on Search. Use your remote to start typing in the word Downloader and you'll see it appear as a predictive suggestion underneath the on-screen keyboard. Tap down and click on the word Downloader, then select the orange Downloader app and on the next screen, click on the button to get or download the app. When it's finished installing, click open and then click allow to ensure that Downloader can save files to your device. If you are using the Downloader app, you will need to give permission for Downloader to install apps. Go into your Fire Stick settings, My Fire TV, Developer Options, Install Unknown Apps and click on Downloader to turn the permission on. Now we can get the mouse toggle app from my website. Open Downloader and type in 28907, then click Go. Press the menu button on your remote and press it again to enter full screen mode. Tap down and wait a few seconds for my download page to load fully so that you can see the search box. Tap to select the search box and type in toggle. Then press the back button on your remote. Move down the page and you will see several versions of the mouse toggle app. The version that is compatible with the Fire TV Stick 4K Max is the mouse toggle Fire Stick 4K version. Click the download button next to it to install it. Once the app is installed, click done and then click delete and delete again to delete the installation file as it's no longer required. Mouse toggle needs ADB settings enabled to work correctly on your Fire Stick. So before you open the mouse toggle app, we will need to turn that setting on. From your home screen, click the cog icon to go into the settings. Tap down and select My Fire TV, Developer Options, and tap on ADB Debugging to turn this option from off to on. Now we can open the Mouse Toggle app and turn the Mouse Toggle function on. When you open the app, you should see this message pop up on screen, Allow USB Debugging. Click the box next to Always Allow from this computer to tick this option on and then click OK. Wait a few seconds and the status at the bottom of the screen will update to starting. Wait a few more seconds and the status should update to started. And this will indicate that the virtual mouse toggle is ready to use. However, on some occasions, the status might not change from starting to started. If this happens to you, turning ADB debugging on and off again usually does the trick to get it started. Tap down and select the blue ADB settings button. 
click on ADB debugging to turn it off and click it again to turn it back on. Then click the back button on your remote to go back to mouse toggle. This time the status should update from starting to start hid and the virtual mouse toggle is ready to use. To turn the mouse toggle on, quickly press the play pause button on your remote control twice. You'll then see a mouse pointer appear in the center of your screen. You can use the navigation circle of your Fire Stick remote to move the mouse pointer around the screen. Going back to Virus Total as an example, without using a mouse, there's no way to click on any of the apps listed on screen to view more information. With the mouse toggle activated, move to any part of the screen you want to select, then click the center button on your remote. With the mouse toggle activated, the center button will act just like a left button click on a real mouse. The virtual mouse toggle also has a scroll function, just like the scroll wheel on a mouse. On this screen, for example, you can see that there is more information further down, but using the navigation circle on the Fire TV remote doesn't move the screen down. With the mouse toggle activated, press the fast forward button on your remote to scroll down the screen and press the options button or menu button on your remote to scroll back up the screen. How to use the scroll feature is one of the most commonly asked questions about a mouse toggle. So if you've made it this far in the video and you're still watching, let me know that you know how to use the scroll feature by typing the word scroll in the comment section down below. To deactivate the mouse toggle, press the play pause button once. You can now return to using the Fire Stick remote as usual. It may take a few seconds for the mouse pointer to disappear from your screen. The mouse toggle automatically defaults to auto start on device startup, but you can change that within the settings if you prefer. If you leave it as it is, the mouse toggle will always be enabled on your Fire Stick. Just press the play pause button on your remote two times to activate it again. ADB debugging must also be left turned on for the mouse toggle to work. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, comment and subscribe to my channel, making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases. These small actions from you make a big difference to me and helps to improve how YouTube recommends my videos to potential subscribers. And I truly appreciate your help in making my channel grow.